This program is brought to you by the Partners and Friends of Anthony Trice Ministries. How do you deceive yourself? By not being honest with yourself. Yeah. If you got some issues, just admit it. Yeah. Don't be in denial like you got together. Yeah. So if you got stuff going on in your heart and mind, just admit it to yourself and let God know, Lord, take this stuff out. To the work with Dr. Anthony L. Trice. And I've never seen so many people in my life as being deceived. It's one thing for you to deceive me, but it's something totally different when I deceive myself. I believe that self deception is the greatest deception. See, if I don't deceive myself, then you can't deceive me. Read. For many shall come in my name. Jesus said, many shall come professing to know me and to be me. A lot of folks professing to be Christians, but they're not possessing it. They're honoring me with their mouth, but your heart is far from me. Read. And saying, I am Christ. I am Christ. And they shall deceive men. And they shall deceive many. The reason why so many people are going to be deceived because they're already deceiving themselves. Read. And ye shall hear of wars. The second sign that Christ is coming, we're going to hear of wars. Uh huh. And rumors of wars. And rumors of wars. And this war is going on right now. It's a war going on with whites and blacks. Kingdom against kingdom. Nations against nations. There's all type of war. There's wars going on in our homes. Husband against wife. Children against parents. Y'all talk back to me. These are signs that Jesus is soon to come. Read. See that you be not troubled. See that you be not troubled. Uh huh. For all these things must come to pass. Read. But the end is not. He yet. said, but it's not the end right now. Like not, not, not just quite right now. Read. For nation shall rise against nation. Nation shall rise against nation. Uh huh. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine. And there shall be people starving uh -huh. with all this food. How folks starving and we get all this food dying? Yes, sir. Famine. That's what a famine is. People don't have enough water. They don't have enough food. Read. And pestilence. And pestilence. Let me deal with this incurable deadly disease. It's not wise to be sleeping around right about now. Because it's a strong possibility that you can catch something you can't get rid of. Because this is some diseases I heard right now, they don't even have a name for it. Pestilence. Incurable deadly diseases. Ebola. AIDS, syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea. It's all type of stuff out here. You sleeping around? These are signs that we are in the last of the last days. Read. And earthquakes in diverse places. And earthquakes in different type of places. Uh huh. All these are just the beginning of sorrow. Listen, this is just the beginning of heartaches and pains. Why does God allow things to happen? I can tell you why. To get our attention. God uses trouble, somebody say trouble, to draw us to Him. Some folks won't pray until something happens. Read. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Talking about those of us that's in Christ, uh huh. And shall kill you. Some Christians are going to lose their life for the sake of Christ. Now, how you backslide because you can't pay your rent? You can't get married and you turn your back on the Lord. So we're not really ready for this type of persecution in America because we leave in God because somebody didn't speak to me. Give me a break. It's folks in Africa getting their heads chopped off for professing Christ. And somebody didn't speak to you and we don't see you for three weeks. Or somebody didn't call your name. Or you didn't get the attention that you feel you deserve. 
Read. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name. Listen, Christianity is one of the most hated religions. I hate to call it a religion. It's a pure religion. On the face of the earth. You can say you're a Muslim, you're a Buddhist, you're a Catholic, you this, that, but you say you're a Christian. Folk look at you sideways. You know why somebody say why? Because we got the real thing. That's to say you're a preacher. I really hit on her. I'm just a low down dirty dog. Read. And then shall many be offended. The third sign that Christ is coming is folk going to easily be offended. Wear your emotions on your sleeve. Overly emotions. Don't, don't you correct me because I'm leaving. Bye. Because you sure don't get correct. Easy offended. Can't take nothing. Can't endure nothing. Talk back to me. Easily get offended. Upset over everything. It's because you are a baby Christian. It's because you're not. A person that easily get offended is a sign of you're immature Christian. Every little thing hurts your feelings. And God saved you. And you was on the corner selling dope, dodging bullets. But now you're saved. Every little thing move you. You will sleep with folks you ain't know their name. But everything moves you now that you're a Christian. Buying heroin, dope, spending your money on everything else, but can't get God to die. Y'all talking to me. Only when it comes to God, we get all these issues. I all remember some of the stuff I did before I got saved. I said, man, I was out of my mind. But now I'm saved, and I'm all prim and cute and can't take nothing. And come and act like I'm sanctimonious and I'm deep in the water for the devil is alive. I was a wretch undone before God got off the altar. Now you come to church, you can't clap your little hand. Because you cute. You spiritual. I remember when you was on the stroll. And then a prophet is not a 
you're going to hell if you don't come out of your ass. Y'all talk back to me. Stop switching. Y'all talk back to me. Y'all talk back to me. That's what a prophet is. He corrects the church. You got these folks operating in the gift of prophecy. Calling themselves prophets. No, a real prophet, Jeremiah didn't play with folk. won't be called because it seems popular. Make you feel important. But you can't tell people they wrong, but you say you're the office of a prophet. That ain't no, that's a gift of prophecy. It's a difference. The Bible says many false prophets. The Bible right and you wrong. Everybody, everybody be prophet so and so. Prophet so and so can't even pay his bill. Prophet Source won't even have a house. So how are you prophesying something to me and your life is a wreck? I see this bishop, I see this too. Unlovable. 
That's how you know whether or not you're anointed and you're deep and you're on your way in God if you can love people not because you're gifted. The most gifted, the most rebellious. Y'all ain't gonna like me today. I'm just gonna have to shout. It ain't about your gift, it's about your character. Greatest gift of all. Yeah. And I don't care if you got a house 
a car. I don't care what you have. If you don't have Jesus Christ, you don't have nothing. <laughs> now, God, I know I ain't getting stuff now. But one thing about it, I ain't got no stuff before God. I ain't no fool. Jesus is Lord of my life. But we caught up in this stuff. This the world. And we feed into it too. What did I say often time we said you just let them all spending money on buying gifts and folk and ain't even their birthday. God gave you the job and the money. Alright, let's get into it. That's my introduction. First yeah. <laughs> Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Say, neighbor, time, time is winding up. up. You run out of time, man. You ain't got time to keep playing church. Read. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Now the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, because all type of spirit. So if you talk about the spirit said, what spirit are you talking about? You need to make a distinction from God's spirit because Satan is a spirit too. You ever heard somebody say the spirit told me? My question, what spirit? Because <laughs> the Bible says many spirits have gone into the world. But there's only one holy spirit. Read. That in the latter times. That in the latter days. Some shall depart from the faith. Some shall depart or abandon the faith. Uh -huh. Read. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Giving heed. Giving heed. I'm sorry. To lying spirits. That's what a seducing spirit is. A spirit that lies to you. Uh -huh. And let me say this. Farrakhan is good. Yeah, yeah. He take the Bible and the Quran and mix it. Uh -huh. Then he'll cuss. That's how I know he got the wrong spirit. <laughs> Read. And give a heed to doctrines of devils. And you are listening to teachings that come from devils. Oprah Winfrey made a statement, Jesus is not the only way. That's doctrine that come from the devil. And the devil know who to use because she got money and influence. And you'd be surprised the folks who believe that Jesus ain't the only way. Just based on what Oprah said. Y'all have to say that. I know you like Oprah, I like it too. But when she's wrong. Read. Read. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Speaking lies in hypocrisy. What's a hypocrite? A person that's pretending to be something that they are not. And if Hollywood needs some actors, all they need to do is come to the church. If we know how to be fake, and we show y'all how to be phony. something different. Give you a better understanding. Read that. The Spirit says clearly. The Spirit of God is clear that some people will abandon the faith. And we see that right now. I've never seen so many folk that used to be saved that's no longer saved. They have abandoned the faith. In later. I'm sorry. In later times. In later times, read. They will obey lying spirits. You won't obey the truth. But when somebody tell you a lie, you do that. Read. And they will follow the teachings of demons. And they will follow the teachings of demons. Listen, one scripture says, talks about damnable heresies. What's damnable heresies? Teachings 
that will send you to hell if you believe it. Ain't no hell. That folk, ain't no hell. Well, if it ain't no hell, it ain't no heaven either. Because you can't have one without the other. And somebody go to hell, because Isaiah said that hell has it lost itself. In other words, the more people go to hell, the more hell stretch. Just like the more you eat, the bigger your stomach gets. So there'll be plenty of space in hell for folk. If you choose to go there. They talk about hell. Well, you can't talk about heaven without talking about hell. And you can't talk about hell without talking about hell. Because somebody going to heaven and somebody showing up going to hell. Tell somebody, it ain't going to be me. Read. Is that it? Yes, sir. Okay, read this one. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Uh huh. Let's see. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. That means that these people that's teaching this false doctrine, their conscience is seared. Just like you take an iron and put on some plastic, it melts. A lot of those consciences is melted. You can't listen to all this strange stuff going on out here. You ain't got to go to church. You don't need no church home. You don't need no pastor. That ain't what the Bible says. The Bible says, don't forsake. To a sinner and yourself together. And the reason why you don't think that's important is you're in the past. Yo, of course you agree with that. Because you're a rebel. How can you hear without the preacher? How can you preach except when you sent? God gave some pastors, evangelists, prophets, teachers for the perfection of the saints, for the edification of the body. And I know what you're saying. The church is a mess. Your house is a mess and you still there. Your child is a mess, and you're still there. Your community is a mess, but you're still there. All you gotta come to the church, we got to To still come to church with all this mess, and you show us a different way. I'm not going to keep making excuses why I ain't nobody in church. Thank you for watching today's broadcast. If ever in the St. Louis area, please come visit our North Campus, located 7200 West Forston, St. Louis, Missouri, 63136, or give us a call. We would love to hear from you at 314-659-8522. For more information on how to get connected, write to us or visit us online at anthonytrice.org. And we thank you for your continued support.